but we have actually developed a new feature that I've mentioned on the beginning. It's called workflows. So quickly, let me go to settings. And then here I'll go to workflows. And here you can establish a couple of workflows or more that, that you can use on specific projects. I will edit uh, an existing workflow just to save us some time. So here you can use um, custom statuses and custom types of uh, work just to see if the if the work that you are doing right now is still in its beginning, so it's not started. Is it started or is it closed? Before, if you remember, you had only two types of statuses. So it was uh, started or closed. But now we have also added the third type, which is not started. And in those types, you can add custom statuses. So if I still have not started working on something, I can create custom statuses uh, under that category, which will then tell me um, in which status this particular task is. You can change the color, you can add a, a different name to it, you can rearrange them if you'd like. And then once you are done with configuration, then you can actually use them in a project. So let, let me quickly go back to the original project that we were using. And then I'll hit the sidebar here. And here I can also select if I will use this particular workflow in this project. So here under change workflow, I can select the type of workflow if I'm using multiple workflows, obviously, um, to use on this project. Here I have already established that I will use this particular workflow. And now when I go to a task, I can then select a status from the status dropdown. So obviously, um, let's say that this task is now in the icebox status, but I can quickly change it in, in progress, let's say. The cool thing here uh, is that I'm actually having some subtasks here, and these subtasks are using different statuses than their parent task is. So you can use that as well. And if I'm using a different view, let's say I'm using the list view, then I can also inline change the status of each task.